I'd ride the bike in, come over here, put it up against the wall along with a few other bikes that were there. Away we go, inside. Same old story. Back in for another day's hard work or a night, whatever that happened. Ah uh, well, I'm gonna punch the Bundy. Push her in, bang she'd go, time clock. Gold mining wasn't going to last forever and as years went by and the mines declined and the workforce declined so the population declined and it became a town of women and children as the miners went to Kalgoorlie and to um, New Zealand um, and virtually the town came to a standstill, leaving this very small population of women, children and perhaps young adults starting to grow up um, who would need some sort of occupation. The borough of Clunes decided they would have to get some sort of industry to come to Clunes. And with that in mind, they went to Melbourne and looked at several sorts of options, but eventually they settled on bringing knitting mills to Clunes. They wanted uh, an industry that employed a lot of people. Well, I, I began there in September 1949 and I was there until October 1956. Yes, you had to go in every morning, clock on, uh, out at lunchtime, clock out, back in at one o'clock and, yes, four times a day. Apart from using it every day, yes, I, we used it each week to make up the wages. Where we go, inside. G'day Bill, how are you going? That was a packer. Look around, put the hat up on the peg. Oh well, what's going today? Hmm. I worked in this knitting mill for 37 years. Started in 1939, January 39, and left in 1973. We produced these socks for the services and for all services. And uh, right throughout the war years, and uh, I wasn't allowed to go to the war because of the, I was in an essential industry. The boss's office. A few funny things there. I was just thinking inside there, the boss used to, used to go down the street to pick up the mail. He'd be gone about nine o'clock. Some of the girls that were on the knitting machines would get together and have a good old dance in the machine room while they were there, learning the different dances. <laughs> so we'd be doing that there. Uh, one chap that came here, he didn't do too much, I can tell you that. Anyway, he um, then come Friday, he'd clock off, he'd go down to the pub, and then about uh, seven o'clock or so, he'd come up and clock in again, and then get back down to the pub. At 11 o'clock, then he'd come up and clock off. And he was getting paid overtime for that. Nobody knew too much about that though. I was born here and, um, you know, everything revolved around internet, you know, around the mill and that was the, the main employment here and when that closed and when it moved out, it, it was really sad for the town. 